So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about solving proportions. What is proportion? Proportion, it is the equality of two ratios. So if the given having two ratios, that is proportion. If A over B equals C over D are ratios, so we have two ratios, then A over B equals C over D are proportion. So, what could be A and B? A and B, that could be our extremes, while C and B are the means. It can also be written as A is to B, C over D, that is C is to D. So, it means this A and B, that could be our extremes, same with here, kahit ganito yung pagkakasulat, and then B and C, that could be our means. So, yung gitna means, yung nasa dalawang dulo, that could be our extremes. What could be the different properties of proportion? First, or letter A, means extremes property or cross product property. The product of the extremes of a proportion is equal to the product of the means. So it means if A over B equals C over D, so it means the extremes AD equals BC. So the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. So let us see in the given example. 2 is to 5 equals 8 is to 20. So let us multiply the extremes that is 2 times 20. Well, the means 5 times 8. So, 2 times 20, that is equal to 40. And then 5 times 8, that is also equal to 40. So, the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Letter B, that is reciprocal property or property of inversion. In a proportion, the extremes or means may be interchanged. If A over B equals C over D, then the reciprocal of A over B, that is B over A, equals the reciprocal of C over D, that is equals D over C. Let us see in a given example. 5 over X equals 6 over Y. So it means the reciprocal of 5 over X, that is X over 5, while the reciprocal of 6 over Y, that is Y over 6. Let us try to multiply. So this ratio, so let us multiply the means and the extremes. So 6 times x, that is 6x. And then 5 times y, that is equal to 5y. So 6x is equal to 5y or 5y equals 6x. So ito yung gagamitin natin, 5 times y, that is 5y. 6 times x, that is 6x. So, equality is symmetric. So, equal pa rin siya. How about letter C? Interchangeable proportion or proportion by alteration. In a proportion, the means or extremes may interchange. Pero ang tanong, alin kaya yung nag interchange Kanina, yung nag interchange yung dalawang ratio. So, while here, in interchangeable proportion, if A over B equals C over D, then, so, nag interchange na yung A over C equals B over D. So, parang tinutuko yung numerator, that could be the first ratio. Yung denominator, that could be the second ratio. So, it means in the given example, 2 over X minus 3 equals 5 over X plus 4. So, it means 2 over 5. While here, x minus 3 over x plus 4. So, let us see in the second example. If a over b equals c over d, so alin naman yung nag interchange So, kung papansin nyo, yung nag interchange naman, pupunta tayo dun sa denominator pero second ratio. So, d, so d over b equals c 
over A. So, ito naman yung nag interchange So, let us see in the given example, same. 2 over x minus 3 equals 5 over x plus 4. Sabi D over B. So, it means D is x plus 4 over x minus 3. All over or equals C over E. So, our C is 5 over 2. So, kung tititigan nyo, x plus 4 over x minus 3 equals 5 over 2. So, kung ipapasok natin yung reciprocal proportion, parehas pa rin yan. Equal. 2 over 5, reciprocal is 5 over 2. x minus 3 over x plus 4, that is x plus 4 over x minus 3. So, parehas pa rin. Equal. So, pwedeng gamitin natin yung interchangeable proportion yung number 1. Pwede rin naman yung number Letter D, proportion by addition or subtraction. If A over B equals C over D, then A minus B over B, so A minus B over B equals C minus D over D. So, let us try in the given example. 2 over 3 equals 6 over 9. So, first we need to subtract. So, let us try 2 minus 3 over the denominator 3 equals 6 over minus 9 over 9. So, this time, ginamit yung proportion by subtraction. What if gusto nyo addition? Pwede rin. So, that is 2 plus 3 over 3. And this one, 6 plus 9 over 9. So, this property of proportion is proportion by subtraction or by addition. Letter E, mean proportional. If A over B equals B over C, then B, that could be our means. So, B equals the square root of A times C. So, in the given example, 4 over X equals X over 12. So, first we need to try the cross product property. X times X, that is X squared. 4 times 12, that is equal to 48. Or, pwede na tayong dumeresyo sa properties of the proportion that is mean proportional. So, it means that is x is equal to the square root of 48. So, direkta na. So, pula dito, direction na. Parehas naman na x yun. So, x is equal to the square root of 48. So, think a factor of 48 having the perfect square. So, that is 16 times 3. So, perfect yung 16 and then multiply it by 3. 16, that could be the highest perfect square. And the square root of 16, that is exactly equal to 4. And then copy the square root of 3. So, x is equal to 4 square root of 3. Letter F, equal ratios proportion. The sum of the numerators is to the sum of the denominators, as many as any numerator to its denominator. If A over B equals C over D equals E over F equals G over H. So it means we need to get the sum of the numerator, so that is A plus C plus E plus G all over the sum of the denominator. So, B plus D plus F plus H. So, let us see in the given example. So, that is 1 half equals 2 over 4 equals 3 over 6 equals 4 over 8. So, let us add the numerator. So, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. All over, let us add the denominator 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. If we add 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4, that is equal to 10. While here, 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 6, 12, plus 8, 20. So, 10 over 20. And the lowest term of 10 over 20, that is equal to 1 over 2. So, Kung ganito yung case, napakaraming ratio, pwede natin yung gamitin yung equal ratios proportion. Let us solve the following proportions. In example number 1, 
the given that is 3 over 5 equals 6 over x. So, what could be the properties of the proportion yung gagamitin natin? So, that is cross product. So, we multiply. So, 3 times x. First, we need to copy. And then, 6 times 5. So, let us write 6 times 5. 3 times x, that is 3x. 6 times 5, so that is equal to 30. To be able to solve the value of x, let us divide both sides with positive 3. So 3 divided by 3, so that is x, and 30 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 10. So the value of x is equal to 10. How about number 2? The given 16 over 8 equals x over 4. So, gawitin natin yung reciprocal property. That is 16 over 8. The reciprocal is 8 over 16. X over 4. The reciprocal is 4 over X. Afterwards, the cross product property. So, 8 times X. That is 8X. 16 times 4. That is equal to 64. Let us solve for the value of X. So, let us divide both sides with positive 8. 8 divided by 8. That is 1X. 64 divided by 8, that is equal to 8. So the value of x is equal to 8. How about number 3? x over 3 equals 8 over 6. So using the cross product property, so we need to write 6 times x, another 3 and 8, that is equal to 3 times 8. 6 times x, 6x, 3 times 8, so equals 24. So let us solve for the value of x. So let us divide both sides with positive 6. So 6 divided by 6, that is 1x. 24 divided by 6, the answer is equal to 4. So the value of x is equal to 4. How about number 4? 12 over 18 equals x over 2. So, using the reciprocal property, 12 over 18, that becomes 18 over 12, and then x over 2, that is equal to 2 over x. Afterwards, the cross product property, so 18 times x, and then 2 times 12, so let us write, 2 times 12 or 12 times 2. 18 times x, that is 18x. 12 times 2, that is equal to 24. If we divide both sides with positive 18, so 18 divided by 18, that is equal to x. And then, let us get the lowest term of 24 over 18. So, ano ba yung pwede nating pang divide? That is the greatest common factor of 24 and 18. That is 6. 24 divided by 6, that is equal to 4. 18 divided by 6, the answer is 3. So, the value of x is equal to 4 over 3. How about number 5? x minus 3 over 4 equals 2 over 3. So cross product property that becomes 3 times x minus 3 and then equals 4 times 2. So let us multiply. So using the distributive property, 3 times x, that is 3x. 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9. 4 times 2, that is 8. And then afterwards, let us combine like terms. So 3x on the left side, copy, negative 9, move to the right side, that becomes positive 9. So 8 plus 9, that is equal to 17. So let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of x. So the numerical coefficient of x, that is 3. So 3x divided by 3, and then 17 over 3. So the value of x is equal to 17 over 3. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.